ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel it has been a while i haven't played snowrunner since before christmas we are now on the 6th of january and uh, i'm missing my favorite game second favorite game most favorite game i don't know it's a toss-up between this and farm simulator <laughs> i think this game holds more frustration <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> Put me back. I'm trying to get this thing turned around. We left it in a precarious position here. And uh, last time Mr. Micah was with me and we were doing some stuff out here. Now I will probably get Mr. Micah involved here again for another couple episodes. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, in fact, I should probably check with him today and see if he's available. But I just wanted to cut in here and say that uh, I am going to... Uh, continue these Yukon missions. I think we're done. There's two more missions that we have selected um, that are not story missions. Um, and so I'm going to finish these two missions up. Now, obviously, if we find more, sorry about your mailboxes, um, we will, you know, obviously work on those also. But I think for the time being, I'm just, I, I want to get the regular missions done and then we'll get the big mission's done, and hopefully be done with Big Sam and Peak. Ready to move on on this series uh, to Maine or Alaska. You know, we could finish Alaska. It's We're so far behind on that. But I'd like to go to Maine because it's the newer content, and that's kind of my thinking. We still have Wisconsin to do. We still have Maine to do. We still have Alaska to do here in the U.S. And then, of course, we have all the Russian maps, and we started Tamir in our other series, so we'll be, we'll be doing that too. But what I'm doing right now is this truck is out in the middle of nowhere, and I'm just going to drag it back to the warehouse. Eventually, it's going to need to go all the way back to service because we have used up all the repair points on this truck. Um, and it's got fuel and stuff, but it needs it needs to have the repair points refilled. So, uh, But once again, the 750 is just an incredible scout truck. I, it's, in my opinion, one of the best trucks in the game. Uh, it really just, even after the nerf, it's still super strong. Um, so. We don't build them like we used to, do we? We say that a lot, but you know, that said, there are many, many vehicles out there nowadays that go two, three, four hundred thousand miles, which, you know, that is something that didn't start until the 1980s. You know, before the 1980s, cars, you know, you were lucky if you got, if you turned 100,000 miles on a car. So, I mean, we complain or, or talk about cars, like, not lasting a long time. But 100,000 miles is, like, chump change on pretty much any vehicle nowadays. Uh, most cars don't even need a major service until over 100,000 miles. And I remember, you know, when we got to 100,000 miles, in any of the cars that my grandpa owned, man, it was time to start looking for a new car. Like, you were you were way over, you know, it was time. That thing was done. Uh, so, you know, the cars nowadays last much, much longer than they did back then. <laughs> you got lucky, and there were some that lasted a really long time or were really well built. But honestly, the vast majority of vehicles out there were just crap. Let's be frank. Um, <laughs> let's just go back to that, that, that Chevrolet Citation. Yep. <laughs> Can remind you of that vehicle. What a great car that was. Lucky if you got 50,000 miles out of that piece of crap. All right, so we got this truck in position, and uh, I'll be right back. I have a couple chores I got to run, and then we're going to continue uh, working this this uh, this map today. So I'll be right back. So I'm looking around on the map, and I'm realizing that I don't have a lot done. I got this missing container that's not finished. Uh, we have uh, support the locals that I haven't even found yet, which I'm right. I'll have to go. I'm going to go with the Ford and look at these roadblock right here. That's not done. Um, so there's definitely some missions that I still uh, have not gotten finished. Uh, Unstable foundation. We have that one listed, but there's two or three over on this side. So I'm actually going to take before I get the big trucks ready. Uh, I got, uh, I'm going to go ahead and unlock these. Uh, we'll, we'll drive around and take a look at those. And I did get good news. Mr. Micah is going to be joining me here in just a moment. So we'll, we'll get these unlocked and then he's, he's in about 20 minutes and he'll be joining. So that should give us enough time to, um, let's go ahead and refuel the truck from the maintenance trailer. I'm going to fill our 
utility mounts up so that we have everything available. And that way we're full. And we're going to go repair our truck here from the... Oh, from the maintenance? No. <laughs> okay, so the repairs are just gone out of this trailer. That's, that's what I'm saying. We need to get... We need to refill, but uh, we can go ahead and detach. Uh, let's go ahead and detach the trailer and head out. So I'll be right back. All right, so Mr. Micah has joined us, and uh, I've unlocked two more missions. Uh, we're still going to do this crates in the wood, though, because most of the missions are over on that side of the map anyway. So, Mr. Micah, I guess follow me. Uh, he's got our civilian. Okay. He's got the new civilian ank, and. Um, I've got the Azov set up for craning and delivering. We have to pick up five spare parts. Oops, wrong button, sorry. And I think we're going to the right, but let me, I'm gonna stop here at the stop sign and take a look where we're headed. Cause I'm not sure. Now neither of these trucks have a lot of fuel. So uh, let's see, we're gonna be going, actually we're gonna be going to the left. Right? Is that correct? Yeah, left. We're going to swing out to the left here. Um, so I figured we'd bring a support truck with repair parts and also um, fuel. Fuel, yeah. We do at some point need to fix the road, too, and I'm not sure what that's going to take, but there's a, a road. Dynamite. 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 <laughs> Which means uh, vehicle spare parts. I think we keep going left here. Wait, sound a lot. Wait, say that again, Mr. Micah. Your mic cut out. You sound a lot better. I definitely feel a lot better today. We basically slept all day yesterday, both of us. <laughs> Stupid COVID. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling better. I'm hoping that maybe yeah, see the week it's the weekend my kids will be here. But I'm thinking maybe I'll do my first stream tomorrow night. We'll see how it goes. What baby? No, tomorrow. Well maybe tonight, but probably tomorrow. What do you care? My poor Twitch channel. It's been left in the dust. How are you doing back there? Uh oh. Now your mic keeps cutting off, Mr. Micah. Is it a setting, do you think, or is it something with the mic? It's my mic. I don't know. I wonder if your I'm sorry if it does. I wonder if your settings got changed in. Um, whoa. Uh, in um, Discord, like your push to talk settings. Not push to talk, but like your voice sensitivity. Like if it got turned up. Because sometimes it works fine, and then other times it cuts you off. I need to turn the setting up higher. Uh, probably down, like like so that you it's more sensitive. Yeah, this road is bad. How are those big mud tires doing for you? Okay. Like, are you catching up to me? Yeah, I'm right behind you, but um, I don't see a real good difference, though. <laughs> what gear are you in? Auto. Oh, okay. I'm in low high. That could be why you're catching me. <laughs> are your feet wet? <laughs> what feet? <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> You're like, I can't tell. <laughs> Bad joke. Bad They're joke. getting cold. <laughs> right. Uh-oh, now you're way back there. Looks like your little tanker's tipping over. Yeah, I was wondering why I was doing that. Now it's finally settling. So, I'm not sure why. That was weird. Maybe it got caught like there's a pole under the water, I think. Well, what's weird is it feels like the current is just pushing me instead of the truck going... Yeah, that's the one thing about that truck. Like, even with those big tires, it seems to, like... Like, those tires should be boss in the mud. No, they should. They should be the best tires that you can have in mud, and they're not. Like, my stupid chain tires are doing better. My goodness, look at that. Try putting it in, in low. Like, see if that makes a difference. And that truck is full, like, full lock all the time, right? Yeah, full four-wheel drive, full lock all the time, yep. That's why I just left it in auto. Weird. But I wonder if it's making it slip. Now you look like you're picking up speed, so I wonder if it's making it slip. Well, I'm out of the water, too. Yeah, oh, that's true. Woo -woo. And I just try to follow along these telephone poles because I think that, that they kind of follow the road. It's hard to tell. I always follow telephone poles. That way I got some place to winch. Ah, that's a good idea too. Whoops. <laughs> I was looking at the truck while I was driving and then kind of went off the course a little. There we go. Are we going off to the left? No. I think we still need to follow it around to the right. Let me look real quick on the map. Maybe. No, I would say to the right. I don't know. Either way, uh, we'll go to the left. It's more of a, a road over there. This thing looks like a snake in the water, doesn't it? Yeah. See, see how the trailer's tipping again? Yeah. It's floating. Maybe it's just floating. Weird. Is fuel lighter than water? Yeah. So that would make sense that it's floating in the water. And I'm glad we did the support truck because we are I'm already halfway out of fuel almost. This truck that thing is a gas hog, that's for sure. Yep. And it's got such a small tank. That two hundred liters is just I wonder in real life if that's, like, if they really have that short of a, a service distance. Or if the game kind of... Imagine the... I don't know if the military really cares about how much fuel they can carry. Yeah, they, they don't. Well, or how much they use. They do carry yeah. about range, because then they, otherwise that means you have to have a support trailer with them. Yukon R. Um, this looks like a deed end. <laughs> I'm going to wait for you here because I need fuel. <laughs> so we're going to stop and wait for Mr. Micah here. He'll be joining us shortly. That was on snack break. I know I only got a couple more chips left. <laughs> 
Fill me up. <coughs> yes, dear? No. That's parking right there. Okay. I decided to beep, and I did it aggressively. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Micah. You're welcome, man. All right, so now we're going to go pick up all these parts for this thanks dude. For, thanks for inviting me to the swamp. <laughs> the swamp party. So we'll go to the furthest one. All right. And then come back, I think. We'll go, like, all the way out and then work our way back and pick them up as we go. Seems like the best way to handle it. Thankfully, it's going to be nighttime for the whole thing. I hit my nose on the... So now we need to go to the right, but unfortunately I think we have to go left first here. And I'm running in low high, just so you know. Maybe I was really dumb to do this flatbed thing, but I don't know. I think the trailer is nice. Yeah. It flexes a little bit, so it's not quite so dump over-ish. Right, yeah. Um, oh yeah, we can't go down the tracks because there's, uh, there's a train wreck on the tracks. So where do we need to go? Let me see if I can... Don't come in too far yet. Let me let me scoot up ahead a little okay. bit. Okay, there is All a road right. here to the left. We can, we can get down here, so follow me. Whoa. Um, Bring COVID. What'd you say? I said Roger, not big COVID. That's right. <laughs> Hold on, my, my nose is stuck on this one. No, it's your uh, it's my the trailer arms too. for the trailer. Yeah. Trailer arms. Everything's catching on everything. There we go. I think that's why I like the black trailer a little better, because it just slides over everything. Oh. But the blue one's nice too because it, it's real thin. I'm trying to think of which one the black one is. Are you talking about the big, the really big one? No. Nah, well, it seems like it's big, but it's flat. Um, it's a flat bed. It's it's not the really, really, really long one. It holds the same amount of cargo as that one. Okay. I feel like I'm in the army now, baby. I know. I did. I am trying to get a new headset, but they, they're they just out, so. <laughs> Everyone everywhere is out. Yeah. It's working now. Did you change your, your cut-in level? On, on no, I, I didn't do a thing. Oh, weird. Is it a, They're wireless, I'm assuming, correct? Yeah. That's weird. I, I, I have a hard time with wires. Now I wonder if I should pull up and then crane it in separately, probably. Wow, this one's really out there. Where the heck? Okay, there's a way through here. Am I getting too far ahead of you? Probably, but I'm just trying. I'm guessing where I'm going. <laughs> so. right. uh, mostly I'm staying on the main road, so you shouldn't just follow the muddy road through the woods. I can't believe how bad this thing is doing. Yeah, I... I'm not super impressed with the game, to be honest. And I had the same problem with the military one. That's why I'm kind of shocked it's still just as bad. Really? I thought it would be better, but it's not. That's all right. By the time you catch up, it, I'll have... Oh, my gosh. How far away are you? <laughs> Holy smokes. I'm not that far away. This thing's a piece of shite. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Mr. Mike, 
<laughs> oh my gosh, you are way back there. Oh lord. Uh, let's see. I need to go where to the right. Is it the fuel? That's I slowing mean, me down. It or? could be. I think. It, I wonder if it's these tires. Those tires should be unstoppable. But apparently. Well, if it makes you feel better, I'm stuck. So, hey, I'm trying to get it. Come on. No, it doesn't, because you just plow through where I'm going right now, and I'm having tr trouble going through. I went into the water, and I sunk down in, and my, to the point where my headlights actually got buried in the water. Does this fuel trailer have wheels on it, or am I just dragging it? Is it, <laughs> is it upside down? Uh, I might have taken the wrong turn. Ah, wow, that's pretty nuts. Let's see if we can uh, set up a rally point. I'm trying to, because you're going to get stuck where I'm at. Go to the, th like, go straight on and go to the third one. Like, do you see where I'm at? T pause and look at your map for a sec. Yeah, I see where you're at. You see I'm heading towards number one, right? Number one what? It's the number one that I have to pick up the vehicle spare parts. Can you see those or no? Okay, vehicle spare parts, yeah. What mission are you on? Uh, crates in the woods. So pick that one. Okay. Well, he's doing support, so he doesn't have to know the mission. So do you see where there are, like, kind of three in a row going to the right yeah. of where I'm headed? Meet me at mm -hmm. number three there. So keep going straight and then turn to the right and go right to that one, and I'll meet you at that one. I think I have okay. enough fuel to get there. So. Okay. But that'll shorten the trip for you a little bit. But I don't know if I can even get through here. I'm, I'm in the woods now. And it's getting really tight. Come on, baby. Ugh, it's not going to make it. Hang in there, boy. You can do it. You can do it. Ooh. Just use your winch. God gave every man a winch, so use it. No. <laughs> uh. Did you see my new horsey farm video? Started watching the Swedish one. Oh, no, I did a new one today with, uh, I basically made a little horse farm. Oh, did you? Yeah, and then I put it up on YouTube. People could download it. Yeah, now the fact that uh, you said you don't make no money, you lose money with horses, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I said in the video, I said I have no idea if you're going to make money or not, but at least you can try. But they have plenty of fields and stuff, so they should, if they can't make money, you know. I gave them everything they need. So I'm trying to do it as mod free as possible, which is tough. But I did use one that that little garage mod, like the little trailer. Shoot. Okay. I like that little mod for repairs. It's great. Or, yeah. I just set it next to a building, and I can just park inside the building and use it. Mm -hmm. Use the building like like normal. Yep. For a thousand bucks, it's like, yeah. It doesn't do paint repair. All right, either do I. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know the paint. It's too expensive. Oh my god, I am so stuck right now. I mean, I'm I'm moving because there's trees, but. I can't imagine you even trying to come back here. And I'm scared because I might run out of gas. I'm pretty hurting for fuel. The other big issue is going to be getting turned around. I wanted to come in from the other side, but I couldn't. 
And so now I'm going to have to get in there and then back back out again. Okay, I'm getting in now. So how have you been, Mr. Mike? Everything been going good? Yeah, a lot of family getting sick and... It's crazy. You know, I know, yeah. everyone's getting it. Like this one... And we knew this was going to happen. This had to happen. Yeah. I, and in some ways it's mm -hmm. good because it means that hopefully for a while these people will be resistant. But, you know, it's like... Well, from what I understand, the Omicron is more of a bronchial and sore throat than it is pneumonia in the lungs. Yeah, it's like I'm a not really saying bad you cold. can't... Yeah. Well, it's, and it, plus I think it, it affects your body. It, like you had body aches and things like that. Yeah, it really but, did. As far as I understand, like the Delta variant was a lot worse. Yeah, my, my, my friend Zach had Delta. And he's in, he was in the hospital. I don't know if he still is. I think he's out now. But he had mm. blood clots in his lungs and stuff. I'm like, holy cow! So I definitely, yep. I definitely reading about what Omicron is. It's definitely what I had. Um, you know, like headache, fever. Um, yeah, sore throat. Um, and that sore throat only lasted for like a day or two. It wasn't long. Uh, but it definitely is in my chest. Like you can still hear it like in my voice. Like I've definitely got it in my chest. But it it was never like that breathing was never an issue, thank God. Now my wife, she had she was not feeling well, like to the point where she couldn't breathe. Um, like the other night she she's like, Can you come upstairs? And I'm like, sure. And she's like, Can you just cuddle me for a little while? And I'm like, why? She's like, because I can't breathe and I'm scared. And that's totally understandable. I hate that feeling when you can't breathe. Well, we are all just like two minutes away from death. It's you know, true. just stop breathing. That's true. You know, as a as an allergy sufferer, um, and I've had those situations. About once a year, I have an allergy, especially if I have to do an outdoor wedding in spring. Like I'll have an I have about once a year I have an allergy attack where my sinuses completely close up. And even though I can breathe through my mouth, not being able to breathe at all through your nose is a very frightening experience. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, you, you feel like, <gasps> like, I, and I, I don't know why it's like that, because I'm still breathing through my mouth, but I feel like I'm going to suffocate, and it's a horrible feeling. And that happens to me about once a year with that, with these stupid allergies. Oh, jeez. Huh? Yeah, see, that's what she was feeling. What are you doing, Mr. Mike? Uh... Oh, I'll did you come you to save me? You're the best. You're the best assistant ever. All right. Let me give you some fuel as you pass by me. Just I'll keep wait. going straight no, behind I'll me. Wait. And I'll, wait. The next I'll wait. I'll wait. Let's go. <coughs> yeah, my wife is totally plugged up. Thank you, Mr. Micah. All right, so I'm going to say probably just swing around to the left there. Keep going left. Because it's a big circle, I think, and we'll end up back at three again together. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. It's terrible. All right. Dang it. Oh, and I'm stuck. Once again, this truck does not get... It's got the same wheels that the uh, twin steer gets. So it's not as powerful as one would hope. Um... Whereas, like, the, um, you know, some of those Russian trucks, like the Taiga, they get those really, really big tires. And the Voron does, too, but I don't have the suspension unlocked for the Voron. So I've got a hmm. Voron that can get bigger mud tires that probably are more adept to this kind of terrain. But I, I can't use the, the raise kit, so I have to use the smaller tires. So kind of, I don't know if it would be a better truck for this. What, honey? No, Voron. All right, let's see. We're going to detach the truck. Vorlons. Vorlon? Cylon? Mr. Mike, are you able to, to maybe uh, uh, detach from your trailer and light me up a little bit? Because I can't really see what I'm doing here. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. Be the mobile light stand since we have to work in the dark. Ugh. I don't know if I'm going to shoot. That did not work the way I wanted it to. Uh, I'm going to have to pull that back out. 
Thank you, Mr. Micah. Much better. I was trying to detach the trailer. Um, <sighs> that sucks. And I was going to pull it out. Did you see what happened? The trailer went, like, face first into the mud instead of, like, the legs going out and holding it up. And so now I'm going to have to recover the trailer. This solders only? Yeah. What? Oh, uh, I got a grocery list. Um... Shoes and socks. Do I have Doritos in there? Doritos. Nope. Just pick up a bag of Doritos. You got those plain uh, nacho chips in there. Yeah, but that's for uh, tacos. Tacos. Yeah, they're going to the store, so I'm trying to figure out if there's anything I need. I'm, I'm good. Tacos. Thank you. Yeah, uh, do do me a favor. Get the Cool Ranch Doritos this time for me. Thank you. Cool Ranch. <laughs> Just see the look I got. <laughs> <laughs> Are you nuts? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pull this. Not good for you try it. I'm gonna dump that thing off, aren't I? Uh, this trailer is being an arse. Now, what? Why? Uh, what's going on with this trailer? Well, I gotta unhook it to get the cargo into it, and it's no. You just stack. You unstack both. You put the next. The next one on top of the first one, and then you just stack it and it'll move it back. Oh, will it automatically move it back? Yeah. Oh, oh gee. I wish I would have known that. <laughs> I'm hoping I'll be able to get underneath it now, and, uh, oh man, this is getting deep. But that's good, I guess. All right. Uh, you do need a bath. This is it. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Uh, I thought this was going to be an easy mission. How wrong was I? All right. Can I can I attach this? Let's see. The trailer's too far away. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Attach. Yes. Oh, you're right. There you okay. Go. Oh, yep. well, that makes it kind of cheaty, but makes it a lot. Oh easier. yeah, it's definitely cheaty. But I mean, if you don't want to cheat, the only way to do it is jackknife the truck. Jam it in there. You no, know, no jackknife it so the trailer swings around. Oh yeah. Here, why don't you just hook onto me and I'll just back you up out of there. I won't connect. Arr. Come on, Mr. Piggy. Oh. It probably would help if the truck was not in reverse. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Mike. <laughs> All right. I'm like, man, it's like it's almost like the truck's going backwards. And <laughs> sure enough. You stuck? No. Okay. Somebody said not to use the chain tires with this truck, but I feel like they're the same tires that you have for just mud. Well, the thing with chains is, I don't know if they change the game, but chains give you more traction on rock. Yeah. So it's better just to take, take the chains. That's what I thought, too. But some people were saying it makes the traction worse in mud, but I, I can't imagine the MH tires like, that are mud tires, like they should work either way. The chain should actually give them a little bit more grip. But I don't know, you know, the game developers do their thing. <clears throat> I think it probably is the weight of the trailer that's giving you a hard time, Mr. Mega, because I'm very much struggling now that I've got these load, this load on. I'll keep keep flooring it, buddy, because right. then that that'll eat up the uh, the fuel. 
Oh, I see what you're saying, like, to make it lighter. There you go. Turn my truck a little bit. I'm gonna bring it this way so we won't tip. So have you been playing Flight Sim at all? No, I haven't. They gave us a bunch of new airplanes. Oh, did they? They gave us this, this weird, like, helicopter thing. It's like a Does it giant vertical drone. takeoff? Yeah. Oh, really? And then they gave us uh, an F-A-18 Hornet, which is cool. First fighter jet. Uh, they gave us the Carbon Cub, but with three wheels, like it's designed as a trike. So it's easier to take off and land. So uh, unpack, unpack. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. And then they did, uh, um, what else did they give? They gave us a bunch of stuff. Hang on, let me see which way is the best. I think if we go probably to the left. So let me back up. Oh, to the dirt, yeah. Because um, this way seems like it's going to be a nightmare. Oh, <laughs> the trailer started catching on a tree. Did you see that? I almost flipped. Yeah. And I'm going to have to do one more. Nah, maybe, no, I got to back a little bit. All right. So looking back, I wish we would have brought the Taiga here. But I guess... I don't know, you can't use the same five trucks all the time. I like to mix them up for the video series, you know? Oh, yeah. I wonder how our hardcore series is going to go. I don't know, looking at this mess, I'm just wondering that myself. Well, we'll come back here with the big trucks. Like, I already know the Yukon's going to be one of the last places that we do, because there's just... I'm almost thinking that we may need to start going back to Michigan and doing missions now. Because the maps are getting so hard that we can't scout them. Like, I, I, I we're going to finish Wisconsin. I think, I think we could scout the, the Russian map, all right. Yeah, and Alaska. Like, we should be able to get Alaska done. We'll, we'll try and see what we can get done. But they're just, some of the maps are so difficult. Like, I was playing around on, like, looking around. Uh. Main, and then that's going to be another nightmare. So, I think our, while our our desires were good intentioned, I don't know that they're going to work. Well, we can just keep trying. Yeah. You want me to push it as soon as we're going, or? I, I, it's this tree is stuck on my bumper. Break. Do you see what's happening? I got this freaking tree. Almost. There, it finally broke. It broke. Okay. A tree like went up my nose pipe and then wouldn't release. Finally daytime. Ugh. I hate working in the swamp at night. He's hated the trees that lay in the ground. That one in um, spin tires, it's like the maps were just full of debris. Yeah, that was something over. they added like later on in the game. Like, why did you do that? Did yeah, it was just dumb. These, these work a little better than those did. But because they do break after a while, like they don't stay forever. So you can, you know, but still they're a pain in the butt. No comments from the peanut gallery. Because no one can hear you, and then they get mad. Why are you talking to that person in the background? We can't hear you. Do you want me to hook your mic up, honey? <laughs> She's playing Minecraft. Oh, I'll tell you what. They changed Minecraft a lot in this last patch. In a good way or a bad way? <laughs> A little of both. Um, what they did was they kind of, where everything used to be all able to be gotten from one place, 
they've changed the locations of everything. So, like, if you want a certain mineral or deposit, you have to look in certain places. Where it used to be, like, you just kind of find every... Shoes and socks. <clears throat> you'd kind of find everything everywhere. You know? Like, if you'd go down into a deep cave, you'd find coal and iron and diamonds and lapis. Now, things are distributed either in caves where they're out in the open, but in small amounts. Or if you want to find a lot of something, you have to dig at specific levels. So it's, I don't know if it's for the better. It's probably more realistic. But like, like if you want iron, you have to go to level 16. Wait, what, honey? Yeah, I do like it. But it's just like things like coal. You have to be very specific about finding coal. Because coal does no, you no longer will find it in the depths. You have to go to like, to mountainsides and stuff to find lots of coal. So it's no longer in the deep. So what you'll do is you'll go down there and you'll run out of candles and then you have to leave. And that's kind of annoying. So what do you think, Mr. Micah? Take a flashlight. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> they can build a flashlight and, uh... No, but if you have Optifine, you can carry a, uh, you can carry a torch and it lights things up around you, but... If you want mobs to go away, you have to light things up. But now there's giant caves and stuff, which are really cool. So they added, like, big giant caves and, like, geodes, and there's, there's an underwater, like, mossy cave environment that has glowing plants, and, like, there's all kinds of new stuff. Not underwater, underground, sorry. So there's all kinds of cool stuff that they've added, but... Did you fuel me up? That was very sneaky. So what do you think, Mr. Mike? You play Minecraft a little bit, don't you? No, I never play it. Oh, okay, I thought you did. No, I never do. It's fun. It really is a lot of fun. Uh, but they definitely made it more of a challenge to, to get stuff. I definitely played Minecraft, um, what is it? Caves or... Uh, Caves and Cliffs. Um, the, no, the... Um, what do you oh, call Dungeons it? and... Whatever. Yeah, the Dungeons, yeah. Yeah. Minecraft Dungeons, that's what they called it, yeah. Yeah. It was, that was all right. I just, it's just the graphics kill me. That's funny. I don't mind them. I kind of like them. Come on, raise that puppy. Are you going to go, go straight through that big puddle or are you going to come back out? I don't think there's any other way to go. I think I have to go through it. Okay. Man, this will not shorten. There we go. Yeah, I think I have to go through it, unfortunately. It's really deep. Mr. Micah. You're right behind it. It's it's gonna be interesting. And the only grab points are to the right. Ugh. Okay. Not so deep that we can't get through it, but this I would identify this as a slog. Forty well about a half an hour mission. That's not too too bad. I'm definitely having to winch through it, though. Thankfully, there's a lot of trees here. Otherwise, we'd be in big trouble. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, you can say that again. I 
I'm glad you're not my boss, because I'd just look at you and say, where do you want me to go? Where do you, yeah, no, I'm not going to go there. All right. Oh yeah, 7,000 bucks. We need to deliver to Steve, Rachel, and Matt. Uh, so we're going to do support the locals next. But we're going to call this an episode. Oh, God. So we're still back in here. Um, we have to go back to the warehouse to pick all this stuff up. And then we got to deliver a mess. Oh, man. Your fan's going to cost them double. Yeah, we want more than you're giving us. <laughs> what does this mission say? Let's read the funny mission. Yeah. Several households in the area have suffered from flooding. They need food. That's not very funny. However, the crates must be placed on special ramps. So they're not washed away in case of repeat flooding. Well, the good news is that we do have a truck with a crane. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our stuff. And, all right, so we need to go back to the main warehouse, which means getting out of the swamp somehow. Should we try to make a U-turn? I think we're just going to go big circle here. Oh, but we need are to end coming? the episode, so where are you right now? I'm right behind you. Well, I was behind you. Yeah, where are you? Oh, stay there. And you're going to turn to the right. I'm coming over your way and we're going to swim around to the right. Now, do you want me to stay right here? Yes, or? yep. And then we're going to okay. go right. So. Eh. Yeah, we should call an episode, though. So I need to... Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do an episode end on the fly. <laughs> Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode where we pick up exactly right here. Bye.